Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, securing an L trench. Uh, this is going to be one of your uh, more difficult trenches you're going to do. Uh, it's fairly equipment intensive and uh, labor or manpower intensive. Um, some of the safety factors we worry about in L trench is uh, it's going to be one of your more unstable trenches uh, because of the unprotected corner that you can see right over here. Um, anytime a corner is not protected, whether it, uh, the inside corner is fairly strong, this outside corner that you're going to see here, that's where you're going to have a real uh, possibility of a collapse or a secondary collapse um, is in this area right here. So what we do is we set up our ground padding system and our, um, our aluminum system here to protect um, our workers or our firefighters while we're doing this, in this initial stabilization. Because uh, the way you're going to start laying these L trenches out uh, is you're going to want to get this corner here stabilized first. All right, and then we're going to start working on this outside corner and then we'll start building our system off of that. Uh, so the big thing to take away from any L trench is uh, you're going to need a lot of manpower, you're going to need a lot of equipment, but most importantly from a safety standpoint is this unprotected or unsupported corner right here is definitely the area we're going to worry about because this is the most uh, susceptible to uh, further collapse or secondary collapse or even primary collapse if you're not actually in a collapse situation. If you're just dealing with an injured worker in the hole and they have no protective measures in place, this is definitely the area that you're going to want to capture first and get that initial stabilization.